she pop pee pop pee pop pee pop ke pa sa sa pa say what they do welcome to jamaica dance all source welcome to crime time news now people straight out of the files of dumb and dumbara these criminals obviously nah no head them nah no sense about three weeks ago in a community called Heinz, there were two brothers. Two brothers that live two different lifestyles. One brother, 47 year old Mr. Heinz, he is a robber. The next brother, a hard working man. Based on the information from the Popo, three weeks ago, the hard working brother Heinz. He was walking along the roadway in the community at about 10 p.m. He was pounced upon by three men who robbed him. He was conned up, hit in the face, taken to the place of recovery in a stable condition. He lived to tell the tale. Now people, during this robbery, the brother recognized one person without a shadow of a doubt. One out of the three robbers. That person was his brother. His B-L-O-O-D brother that he lived with, grew up with, in the same house. His brother was one of the robbers. Can you imagine that? Now people, here is where things kind of get weird. Usually in a some sort of robbery, it is the robbers, the assailants that usually we are the schemas. However, I am assuming, based on what I am hearing, that this brother, the victim that got caught up in him face, must have been wearing a ski mask, or else the brother would have seen him. I want to also ask the question, didn't it occur to the brother during any time of this assault and robbery that you know so the brother yeah, look like my brother you know say it is not right to rob my brother now people remember this other brother the robber he is 47 year old at 47 year old you are still out with your cronies sticking up people playing stick up kid at 47 middle age crisis don't you see that you have passed your retirement stage as it pertains to be a robber. Your career is slow. Your career is not going to get where you want it to get. So therefore, you should consider retiring. Consider getting some sorts of trade. Consider doing something that is productive. Because obviously, you are not very good with this. You don't pick out your victims wisely. And people, I am not saying that any other person should be a good victim. Me just I say. You would have thought that family members would be off the no-fly zone, the no-rob zone. So therefore, they should have immunity. Now, based on the Popo, it is said that he was charged for ASSAULT robbery, illegal possession of a firepiece, and also ammunition. Now, people... If this is not the most stupidest thing you've ever heard. If this does not prove that, listen. Now we understand why these people don't have a job. No sorts of excuse. It is because more than likely, if them see them name for any sorts of bulla, them would not recognize it. So therefore, they probably lack the ability to just fill out a simple application. And more than likely, they don't have the willingness. Everybody wants everything the easy way. Everybody can be a victim, including your own family member. People, this is very sad. Point blank and period. Now, people, continuing on the theme of dumb and dumbara criminals. Moving from St. Anne's to St. Elizabeth, a place called Balaclava to be specific. A couple of months ago, angry residents chased out two brothers. 
they were accused, there were allegations that these two brothers, they might jump over the fence of people in the community. So pretty much the people them almost J-U-N-G-L-E, justice them. They have to take for themselves. However, the poor poor, they were notified that, listen, a lot of people get rushed. A lot of people are lose them house. A lot of people property are get burn out. So therefore, the poor poor had to stake out in the community. A lot of people are get cuff cuff up, beat beat up, chop chop up, limb limb up, whatever you want to call it. The people them start realize, eh, you know, no, say, I them see them two brother yeah, where we say, I jump over people fence, I them are causes. People start recognize and identify them. So people, them left the community, them come back, I create all sorts of chaos and catastrophe. People realize eh, them they back there, them are hide na them family member a elderly house. The people them rush them, burn down the house, burn up the car, them take with themselves. When them take with themselves and the relative them call the fire brigade. The fire brigade got there, however, the angry residents, the MOB, would not allow the fire people them to do them job for pretty much out the damage on the house. It is said that the house pretty much burned down at least twelve million dollars worth of damages at least the car gone also everything flame up. Now people here is the thing these people them accused fear jump over fence. So like most communities garrison whether a country or a town Whenever people hear that, they are going to defend their family, defend them kids. That is a definite no, no. That is a reason or one of the reasons why people end up get split in a toe. You know exactly what I am speaking about. However, these men claim that they were wrongly accused. So therefore, the people them were cast all sorts of allegations and suspicion upon them. So they might jump over a fence. Them come back and a seek revenge. Them come back and a burn at the people them place. A beat beat at the people them people. Doing all manner of evil and people. Them have to take with themselves once again. Now here is the thing. Even when the fire brigade came. Them could not do nothing. Because there was only a couple of poor poor and people again. The angry residents. Defending their property. Defending the lives of their family members and kids. The poor poor have to stand guard while the people them burn up the family member, the elderly house. So people at the end of the day. These men were accused. These men come back. These men take with themselves. However, the family member were not so fortunate. So people, this is what happens when people lack communication when the bridge of communication is missing and people think that hostility and violence is the only way there is no sort of amicable agreement to pretty much solve any sort of thing point blank and period now the next thing that is popping in the news people it is obvious that these gunmen whenever they put out or launch any sorts of D-R-I-V-E by they want to make sure that they get multiple victims. They don't care if that person has anything to do with anything, any sorts of gang affiliation. You are, you are guilty by relation, meaning that you just have to live there. I know somebody will live there. Now people, I am speaking about an incident that occurred at a place called Greenwich Farm Road that is in Arnett Gardens. It is said that people were just S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G, the breeze, literally kick back and a relax and a talk, play a domino, load it, the regular stuff. When a Toyota Axio pull up, two men jump out, blaze up the place. After the smoke clear, 25 spent shell, 7 people hit, 1 person did not make it fatal. His name is Barry. 
here is the thing. Barry is not a gangster based on the information, preliminary information that I have. Barry works with the state, the city, KSAMC, are one of those bodies. However, he did not make it. It is said that this is gang related. It is said that this is some sort of reprisal for some sort of S H O O T I N G that occurred before this, maybe a day or a couple of weeks ago. So, people, it's the kind of tragic. And what is even worse is that people don't realize that, listen, gone are the days when you can't hang out by any sort of corner, play loaded, play a domino. Because pretty much most of the, G the D R I V E buys that we see, domino table, kick over, loaded table, kick over, people, kick over. So, therefore, if you know that, when you live in this community, especially if that community is war torn, if that community have enemy and those enemies are serious, you know that what these gangsters like is to create chaos and even more misery. Misery loves company. So therefore, them just want to know. They just want to get news that listen. You know, some just pass down so and see them people, a whole bunch of them. It is like hunting season, duck season. So therefore, them know, say, once them pull up, they get no better joy than for the people a take with themselves. People are run after the smoke clear. People are D-E-A-D-I-N-G. Are a whole lot of people end up down a KPH. People, one of fair have sense. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. The only result that is going to be different is the amount that get caught up, is the amount that get D-E-A-D, -E point blank, and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.